everybody. We are back at it again. Got another good lineup today, I believe. And uh, this one came in a few days ago, so uh, looking forward to getting to it. And uh, you guys know what we're talking about. You'll always see the title, so it's, it's never a secret. Uh, so let's get into it. I'm a couple of days growth, so prime for a nice shave and uh, workout this morning and then fresh out of the shower, maybe 20, 30 minutes. So, uh, so everything's uh, perfectly lined up for a good shave today. So with that said, you know how we do it. Let's get to the tools of the trade and uh, the beautiful items we'll be utilizing. So first up is going to be Yates Precision Manufacturing. You guys have seen me talk about this, review this, and show this, I believe, if you've watched many times, it's, it, there's many videos in the library. Uh, can't say enough about these guys. Boy, I, I mean, this is just a, a real peach. It's one of my favorites. Uh, it's just my little, uh, my little treasure. I love it in the brass. It just really that in, antique vibe to it. Uh, and I love they did the logo on the top. So you guys get a three piece design. I already have the blade installed. It locks up just superbly the uh the tension the tolerances are just uh, an absolute gem so big big fan of theirs yates you guys fantastic so in the the beautiful yates razor i'm going back with the balzano so uh we got this right yeah <laughs> so going back with the balzano i like these guys nice and smooth the one that i have in there is from the previous shade so it's a second pass on that once, twice is usually all I use on a blade, and then I, I toss them. So, but that's just me. Uh, Bo Bramel Bowl is down there heating up. Uh, you guys know I always use that one. I love the marble. The heat retention blows my mind. It's just fantastic. We'll apply the soap today with the St. James of London. Uh, beautiful silver tip badger, all handmade in Italy. Uh, really, really nice. These guys do a fantastic job. So, we'll let that just kind of soak away there. Okay. Let's get to what you guys probably came here to see, and that is going to be the new Ultima line from Ariana and Evans, Tobacco Road. So interesting. So uh, the K2E was, I think, a very good product. It gave me fantastic shaves, and uh, I had no issues with it whatsoever. Uh, I like a lot of their products. I've used their soaps. Great scents, great latherability, and so forth. So, uh, so do like the products. Um, this one was supposed to be kind of a, a launch in a new direction, so thus the, you know, the moniker Ultima, uh, and it was supposed to come in a beautiful box with silver foiling, and uh, I reached out and asked, you know, because mine came in a paper, a plastic bag, sorry, and I said, you know, hey, you know, what happened with the boxes? So I guess they didn't come in time, and they ditched those, and uh, to me, I, I think that's a big mistake. I think if you don't have the merch to kind of in the packaging to get something out that you're calling Ultima. You might want to just hold off. Um, it just kind of detracts from the whole kind of blowout and and uh, push for the new line. So, and that may just be me, but um, I would have held off and uh, and just waited and done it the right way in my mind. So, with that said, I'm a big fan of the marketing stuff. I think it's you know merchandising is huge. I think it's you know it's a big portion of what you do. But uh, a lot of you come here for the sense and the lavability, so we shall get to that. So I'll give you all the side shots here so you can geek out on that. It's a tallow base, uh, and then you've got, boy, six different butters. So shea butter, cocoa, uh, there's mango, there's a Brazilian butter. Too many to remember, but six different butters. So that with the tallow, I mean, that's, that's got some depth to it. So I would think that this would give us a pretty darn good lather. So, but that we will find out. So scent profiles. So obviously tobacco is supposed to be tobacco, tobacco road. But for me, honestly, I think tobacco's taking the back seat. I think it's, it's sitting in the back, just kind of being driven around by more of a sweet scent, more vanilla. Yeah, it's more of a vanilla. It's very, it's sweet. It's definitely sweet. It's like vanilla, honey, which almost kind of induces a powdery scent. So I'm getting my nose more of a powder and sweet scent. That's what I'm getting. So texture, uh, it's creamy. So I mean, I can I can get right in there. So uh, reminds reminiscent of uh, of like the pistachio. I mean, as far as texture and look and so forth. So. Um, but it is creamy. There's no doubt about that. I mean, whew. so uh, let's let's see what this does. I mean, let me 
wet the face and we'll we'll get at it because there's a uh, ain't nothing to it but to do it at this point right stand by I would have liked to um, have had it a little bit more tobacco forward um, but you know that's all comes down to that's all subjective I mean that's a matter of preference you know whatever you know I don't get too hung up on that type of stuff as long as it smells good I get some nice you know beautiful scents and I get some nice latherability and it provides a, a really wonderful shave you know well then hey you know what I mean that's uh I can dig that it's creamy though goodness gracious I mean it is a uh, butter du jour holy cow it's like it's just sticking to my finger, but fear not, we shall get this done. So that's what we got in the bowl. That you can definitely see in this marble. So uh, so there's that. Let me get the remnants into the brush. Always do. Let me just get a little water. Water. I imagine this is going to be thirsty. So we are going to build it up in the bowl and then to face. As per usual. So, yeah, sweet. It really just, uh, and powder. I get a lot of powder. So, creamy, creamy little bugger. So, I'm getting any of that in there. Let's see. So, I think it's gonna, I think it's gonna be a runner. And I pulled out the pistachio. So, we'll take a look at that at the end. As just kind of a, a variant to uh, to see how the two different soaps and their complexities kind of mirror each other. Okay, I mean that's that's really really it, it'll take some soap. So you know, should you uh, pick this up, just bear that in mind. Don't go crazy, of course. You know, build it up. You know the deal. But um, let's do it. Let's build the rest up here. Ah, it is uh it is dense. Ooh. It is really um holy mackerel. It is like putting butter on your face. Hmm. I mean you can see that. I mean that is really mm. Man, well, I gotta say, it, it, you know, as far as if you're looking for density, uh, that is definitely mission accomplished. I mean, whew. it wants some water though, no doubt, but it is very thick. I mean, it, you know, once the minute it hit my face, it was just, I mean. Ooh, I mean, very, very thick texture. Wow. I mean, you could see. I mean, there's a painter brush for you. I mean, look at that. That's a thick coat. I mean, so definitely achieved the density aspect. No doubt about it. I mean, you know. I'll call it like you see it, and I hope you're seeing it, because that is really, that is, that is really, really dense. Oof, that's really all I can tell you. It's just, it's very smooth, very nice to apply. Um, it's a, it, it is a very nice feeling. It really is. This, it, this is a, a tremendously, tremendously smooth, and, and, and it is a, a, a decadent feel to it. It's, it's very, very nice. Um, so you'll definitely enjoy that aspect of it for sure. So let's get at it. But man, you can see that. I mean, you know, the lather is going to tell the story. And I still have some in the bowl that I could have. You can see that brown back there. I could blow that out. So, but for time's sake, you know what we do? Heat up the blade. We do one passers and keep it simple. All right. Yates. Take me home. Tobacco room. So, uh, oh, very nice. That is, uh, man, that is really, 
seriously dense. So very, very nice density to it. <laughs> Sorry, beating the hell out of that dead horse. Um, so it does give you some slickness. Um, it does feel as though it's starting to dry out. Um, so the slickness, the residual slickness is a little bit lacking. Uh, my skin actually, it's smooth, feels smooth. This and the soap did their job, but the residual, it's already, you could, my, my hands are already pulling on my skin. So it dries really quick. So just be mindful of that. Wow, great audio on that. And this razor, I mean, look at that. Do you see the water dripping in that thing? Wonderful, 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 wonderful. Wow. Yeah, really nice. Um, but again, same thing. It's it it goes it goes dry real quick. So uh, fantastic latherability. Great density to it. Just your residual cleanups you're gonna be, have to be mindful of. This razor, look at that, the head design. So awesome. It made that so effortless. And it really, uh, the blade gap and everything on here is just so nice. All right. Let me clean up. We'll leave it at that. No, we won't. Pardon me. Can't leave that. All right, let me clean up and we'll talk some... We'll do some final thoughts. All right, and then we'll get that soap shot. So, I think you guys get the guys and gals get the gist of it. The butter is really incredible. How was that? Um, it provides, I mean, that was, that was deep. That was really, you know, that was some serious lather there. It was very, very dense. It slaps on as if you're applying butter to your face. So fantastic on that aspect. Uh, I, I am, my face is dry. So I definitely want to, you know, do, I'd have to do something else for cleanups and so forth. Uh, scent, I don't get a lot of tobacco. Um, and again, you know, it's very, very subjective. That's just my schnozzola, um, but I don't get a lot of that. It's, it's much more of, I, I, for me, I feel like it's a much more sweet and powdery scent that I'm picking up. But let's get to your lather and enough of me and my jabbing and jibbing. Uh, so here you have it. I mean that, all right. I mean, so you definitely have texture. There's no two ways about that. So um, I look at that. I mean, that is really, really wonderful. So there you go. There's your shot. I mean, I mean, I really don't need to say more as far as that goes. It, it is very creamy. Uh, definitely has some great latherability and some density. Sense, not really tobacco for me. But there you have it, folks. That is the, sorry for the word, proverbial one pass. Done. Uh, everybody enjoy your day. Thanks for watching. Always a pleasure. Take care.